It's a new month at the heat waves pass, so let's take a look at the avocados. First up is the reed on Duke 7. So this is the smallest of my trees in 25 gallons. And this one has zero damage from the heat wave. We hit 111 here and uh, no damage. But this tree also gets the most shade. So it's kind of hard to say whether that kind of helped it out. And this tree also has probably the smallest root mass because this one was bare rooted uh, and it slowed down. That's why it's the smallest of my trees. So I think maybe all three of those reasons kind of contribute to why there's no damage on it. And I did notice this fruit here that I didn't know was growing. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, this one has uh, was doing very well now. New growth is fine. No burn as well at all. So it's looking good. Next is Stuart. So this, I forgot to mention, these are all 25 gallon trees on their third year. Well, one of them is 20 gallon, but these are all third year trees. So Stuart took a lot of heat damage and Stuart is also putting out where the fruit is darkening. And I don't know if this size is more indicative of uh, Mexicola. Cause the fr I thought these fruit would be bigger, but they're all, they're not getting much size to them before they're, they're darkening up. And a lot of the fruit has been uh, kind of aborting or just not getting to a point where it's edible. It's kind of squishy. Squishy but hard. <laughs> we have a lot of burn here too. Burn on the fruit, burn on the tree, you know, burn on the limbs. So definitely did not handle the heat very well. But the funny part is it handled the first couple days of heat fine. And I was watering three times a day then, but I must have missed a, a watering or just got out here late while I was working because after a while, you know, it didn't handle, it didn't like the heat at all. But we will get some fruit. I believe we will. I mean, it's just fruit like this that I just did not. Oh, this looks like it might be edible eventually. Yeah, I mean, I should have, I should have set up irrigation. There's no, there's no reason not to. I've just been lazy. I could have just watered it 12 times. <laughs> it would have been fine. Next is Pinkerton. I have new growth. Not much burn on the old growth. A little bit of burn on the limbs, but nothing, nothing crazy. You know, not like the burn on the steward. And I didn't lose any fruit. You know, I think it's already thinned enough at this point. These are getting pretty big. So, not much to report there. It's doing well. Okay, so my surprise is next. Surprise is the only one in the 20 gallon. So it does have a smaller container than the rest. And this tree was growing very straight, but now it took some burn damage and it's basically tipping over. And this is kind of what I see, I've seen in other videos about Surprise, that it doesn't like to grow straight. And mine was growing very straight until the heat came. <laughs> so maybe that's why. But here's some burn damage here. I didn't really, it didn't really drop any fruit. I didn't see much fruit drop. So maybe it's uh, prioritized the fruit over itself. It's hard to say. I might top it around there after the fruit's done. Okay, Charwill has had about 25 fruit on it. And now we're left with about eight. Somewhere around there. So this one did not hold on to a lot of fruit during the heat wave. And it did get some burn on the uh, on the leaves. Maybe that's not burn. Maybe it's just uh, leaf cycling. But new growth has been fine. It's right there. So it did drop a lot of its fruit to uh, prioritize itself, I guess. Which is fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. So you still have some fruit sizing up here. 
smaller fruit. Yep. Now we're looking at the second year trees in the 15 gallon pots. First up is the gem, or gem number one. Some damage, burn damage to the branches. Not much in terms of foliage. You know, it's been fine. And this one is no longer holding any fruit. So we're just gonna watch it grow for another year. <laughs> and here's gem number two, which is also not holding any fruit. Oh no, actually, gem number, gem number one has two fruit down here. That's great. Maybe we can try some. The gem number two does not have any fruit. A little bit of burn damage, but not so much. New, dam new growth is fine. It's just doing its thing. But this is one we'll have to wait to see what happens next year. I'm gonna leave these, I'm gonna see about leaving these in a 15 gallon for next year, see how they, well they do. But I gotta think about that. All right, here's the reed in the 15 gallon, and it's got a, only a couple fruit too. But no burn damage on this one either. Maybe reed is just a stronger variety. <laughs> This one had no, no burn on the branches either. That doesn't look like burn. Uh, maybe a little bit here. Yeah, maybe. But it's been doing really well. Shawwell is next. Shawwell is holding three fruit and the 15 gallon. <clears throat> kind of like the same as the third year one leaf browning and I'm sure if that's burn or not but new growth is fine overall healthy maybe these are getting shaded out by themselves which is why they're doing better last of the 15 gallon is the Don Gologli Don Gologli it's been doing fine I think there's a little burn right there. A little burn right there. And this one is a little bit burned, but the fruit, the one fruit left has still hung on. It's getting more of that Don Gologli look. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but overall, pretty healthy on this one too. No burn up top. Uh, new growth looks fine. Old growth looks fine as well. There's a little bonus section of my Jan Boys. It's a uh, it's first year. No no burn damage, but it does get shade from the fig next to it. Yeah, new growth looks good. This one's not holding any fruit. That's the update, guys. I think the worst of the weather is over, so it's just gonna be waiting for the fruit to ripen up for the rest of the year. So it's gonna be pretty exciting to actually get to try some of the fruit for the first time. I think uh, Stuart will be the first, and hopefully it'll be very soon. <laughs> I could do a little taste testing. A few moments later. All right, guys, the time has finally come. We have gotten our first avocado ever. Well, first, like, fully ripened avocado ever off the tree. It's the Stuart. And let's have a taste. I'd say it's about, about three inches. Kind of small. I thought Stuart was bigger. A smaller, smaller seed. I think too crazy with the color. Not really any string either. Tastes like an avocado. <laughs> The skin is a little bitter. Let me try it without skin. I don't think it's at the full potential of what it could be, but it's good. It tastes a little watery. Very satisfying though. <laughs> Rose go wild. 
that's what they call me I'm a man with a plan growing naturally From the dirt to the table, it's a beautiful sight Yeah, it grows gone wild, we're living it right